just to make and sure. it's recording at 4K. <coughs> awesome. First 4K video. All right, ready? Yes, sir. Three, two, one. Yeah, what's up? Memux713, come on now. You've seen the title, you've seen this beautiful thumbnail, you've seen this beautiful face, but yet I have no contents in front of me, which is quite strange. I don't know where. Don't know where. Oh, here we are. Thank you, magical Zordon hand god person something. But wow, first of all, this box is huge, and I've been waiting for this baby for quite a while to get my hands on this ever since I came back so but this is the legacy red ranger helmet unboxing video and you're probably like me mug like you already open this like a little bit of tape here and it's kind of open here well went to I went to uh, Toys R Us earlier today and uh, this was the only one in stock or it had been opened by some badass five-year-old and they gave me a, a, a discount on it so I'm like hey what the hell I'll go ahead and do it I did already peek in it to make sure that all the contents are inside so don't worry they're still inside and this is still technically an unboxing video because I wasn't the one that opened it but without any further ado let's go ahead and get this open um, no need for a handy dandy notebook I mean <laughs> handy dandy box cutter because I'm First of all, I forgot to mention, I'm not even in my in my green screen room. I am at Kevin the Director's beautiful house with his helmet displays, and he's actually behind ca uh, camera uh, filming this thing, so this is going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm talking too much. So like I said, some badass five-year-old already opened it, so all I got to do is just do a little opening here. So... Uh, Actually, I might need, yeah, they taped it here. So just grab this random red uh, butter knife and cut that tape there. And then here we are. It's still in this little, I don't know what to call this material. I know it's like the material made for like uh, the McDonald's like cup holders. That's what it reminds me of. But let's go ahead and just slide this out like so. Come on. Ah, there we go. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this box here. It's already seen better days. And let's just split this open. One and two. Wow. First of all, as I noticed, it still has that new helmet smell. I mean, it's not like a like an Anarchy or a, um, I can't think of the other guy's name at the moment. Excuse for my words. Um, ah. I can't think of the guy's name. I can't think of the guy's name. Help me out, Kevin. I can't think of the guy's name. Common Rider Nimoy, Tyler Oslo, uh, Matt Wilson, otherwise known as Wild Ranger 5. There you go. Those guys. But it kind of has that, yes, yeah, that little bit of that smell there. But all it is is just plastic. Looks like there's no instructions at all from what I can see so far. So here we are. The red ranger helmet and it's a little wop sided so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it this way so you guys can notice well actually i'm just gonna take it off i guess ah here we are wow this thing is huge all right this is the display right here with all this tissue paper i guess uh looks like it's a looks like it's a fiber cloth to wait no? What the? Wait, hold on. I don't know what this is. This is like a shower cap or something. I don't know what this is. What? This is confusing. But um, yeah, it's pretty huge. This, don't know what this is either, which is weird. Like, do I wear this on my head as well? I do not know. But you got the stand here. It has Red Ranger, Mighty Morphin. And you got the Red Ranger helmet itself on display like so. So um, as far as that, let's look at the helmet real quick. Um, it's huge compared to other helmets that I do own made by other prop makers. Um, I noticed right away it has the, the clips on each side just like the other helmets I own. So I'm just go ahead and see if I can Okay, it's a little weird. And I haven't seen any other unboxing or review videos regarding this, so I don't even know how the hell do you even do this? What? What in the hell? I'm serious, like I can't. 
open it. Oh, okay. So it looks like you. Oh, it's different. Okay. So it looks like you push down on these and then it opens up like that. Okay. That's different. All right. So let me go ahead and wait. Hold on. Sorry. Go ahead and try this on and let you guys know what it is. Oh, man. Yeah. This is huge, first and foremost. And I can't even. Yeah. This is not going to work. I can't even snap it because it's weird. Very, very weird. Hold on. That's weird. Oh, maybe. Duh. I'm stupid. Sorry. I gotta push it down here and here, and then I gotta push on it like so. And I still can't get it. What the hell? Uh, try this one more time. Alright, push down here, push down here. Okay, so I got it that way. Alright, try this one more time. So you push down here. One, two, and pull. It's supposed to fit on my noggin here, but it's having a difficult time right now. Okay. Yeah, this is not easy. Oh, wait, wait, nope. Yeah, this is okay. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, I think I'm in now. So, first of all, this is I look like a bobblehead because I got so much room in this thing. First and foremost, uh, the visibility I can see pretty clear uh, compared to like my other Ranger helmets. Um, it's not very uh, aerodynamic. I don't have much breathing holes in here. Uh, there's a hole right here in the eye, here and here. Uh, as far as that, and of course the air that's like coming from below the helmet is helping a lot. Uh, there's no fog so far, so that's a good thing. Other helmets that I own, they do fog up pretty quickly. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm like claustrophobic and this thing is huge, like super big. Like, see, so yeah, you can kind of see my face because that's how huge it is, but I can't take it off because I got a big head. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off like so. Woo, okay. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> Compared to the other helmets I own, this is a little bit complicated believe it or not but other than that it's uh, not bad I guess um, I guess I thought it was gonna be in a kind of like a die cast um, material but it's more like a like a plastic and it's not heavy like the other legacy uh, products that the uh, Mighty Morphin series toy line have at the moment um, other than that I mean it's a helmet. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, Red Ranger suit on me at the moment, so I can't do a full costume review. Maybe I'll do that in the next video, but that's pretty much it. And like I said, it's the stand and whatever the heck this is. I got to figure that out later with the shower cap, which dude, does it go, even go over the helmet? Like, I'm confused. Super confused. I don't know. No, that does not work. No, that does not work at all. Okay, so let me do that. And yeah. And I still don't know what this is. Anywho. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the Legacy Red Ranger helmet. Um would I recommend it? Uh I would 
if you didn't have or can't afford like the your Anarchy helmets, your uh, damn, I forget the name stat quick. Kamen Rider Nimoy, uh, Wibbly Wobbly FX, Tolo Aslo, Wild Ranger Props 5. Thank you, Zordon, or Kevin the Director. Um, any of those prop makers, uh, I would definitely go with. This is a, um, I guess, would be an alternative if you can't get your hands on any of those prop makers' helmets. Um, hopefully, they may uh, come out with more than just the Red Ranger, maybe Black Ranger. You know, just just throwing out a hint there, Saban. Need a little black in your life? Hit me up. <laughs> but other than that, um, that's pretty much it for I got for you guys for this video. So. Thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends because share is caring. And big shout out to Kevin Director for letting me film in his little uh, man cave, I guess you could call it, and for helping me film this video in 4K for your viewing pleasure. And um, other than that, going to make sweet, sweet love to this beautiful helmet. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.